Hi, kindergarten. Yesterday we were talking about the equal sign and how whatever's on one side of the equal has to be the same as the other side. Okay. And we talked about how three plus two would be the same thing as one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Those are the, you have the same number of dots on both sides. So they are equal. Okay. Well, what if I wrote three plus two equals four plus one? One, two, three, four, and one. Are those equal? Can I keep my equal sign here? Let's see, do they have the same number of dots on each side? One, two, three, four, five. So this side has five. One, two, three, four, five. This side has five. Are those the same? Yeah, they're equal. So we can keep our equal sign here. Okay, but what if I put three plus two equals four plus three? Let's check. One, two, three, four, and then we have three more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh-oh, this equals seven. So do those, are those equal? Nope, cross it out. That means not equal. Right. What I want you to do today is I'm gonna give you some problems and I want you to write down whether they are equal and figure out are they equal or not equal, okay? So you're gonna write these down. I've got six plus two and four plus four. In the middle, if they're equal, put an equal sign. If they're not equal and you figure it out, put a line through it, they're not equal. Okay. So figure it out for this one, six plus two and four plus four. How about three plus five and two plus six? Five plus four? and three plus two, eight plus three, and six plus five. And this last one, how about seven plus four and eight plus two? Okay. Again, you can always pause the video to write these down or rewind the video, but solve each one of them. Are they equal or not equal? And you might have to draw the dots to figure it out or use your ruler or timeline to solve it. Rose is really great at using her time, her ruler as a, as a number line, okay? So you can use your number line or a ruler, draw the dots, whatever strategy works for you, and either put equal or not equal between each one of these. They have to be the same on both sides to get that equal sign. Okay, have a great time, bye.